Welcome guys, this is Gagan from LiveLearnings.com and this is the 12th video tutorial of pic 16 f 86 In this video tutorial, we will learn how we can connect an alphanumeric LCD to microcontroller and how we can display text on the LCD. Alphanumeric LCDs are very common in embedded systems. The LCD is available in a 16-pin package. This is an image of a 16x2 LCD. We can display 32 characters at a time on this 16x2 LCD. And the other type of LCD is 20x4, where 20 is the number of columns and 4 is the number of rows. To connect a 16x2 or 20x4 LCD to a microcontroller, we have to use this circuit. First pin is ground and it must be connected to ground signal. Second pin is VCC, it must be connected to 3.3 or 5 volt supply. Third pin is VEE or contrast control. Control. We will connect a small potentiometer to this pin to vary the contrast of the LCD. RS is the resistor select pin. There are two resistors in LCD, command resistor and data resistor. So when we want to apply a command to LCD like clear display, shift the cursor, blink the display, etc. So we will select the command resistor by making this RS pin low. And if we want to display a data, we have to make this RS pin high. The fifth pin is read and write bar. So we have to write to the LCD. That's why we have to connect this pin to ground. Sixth pin is the enable pin. Whenever we want to write the data to LCD, we have to provide a high to low signal on this enable pin. Pin number 7 to pin number 14 are 8 data pins. We can connect this LCD to a microcontroller with 8 data lines or with 4 data lines. In 8-bit mode, we will use all the data pins from D0 to D7 and in 4-bit mode, we will use only higher 4 bits from D4 to D7. And the LCD library of micro C compiler is also for 4-bit mode. Pin number 15 is LED positive connected to a 5 volt supply. The pin number 16 is LED negative and connected to the ground of the circuit. For simulation purpose, you can connect the LCD to a microcontroller in this way. We don't need to connect the VDD pin and VEE pin in simulation. To add the LCD module into device list, type 16x2 and select this first package 16x2 alphanumeric LCD. For programming part, we will first add the LCD library in the program. You can see this library manager on the right bottom corner. When you click on this, you can see a lot of libraries of micro C compiler. To add a library for your program, just click on that library. So in this case, I need this LCD library. If I click on this, you can see two tick mark. That means the library is included in the program and there is no need to type hash include then the library dot h. If this library manager is not showing on the bottom right corner, you can go to view and click on library manager. Now we need to know about the LCD library of micro C compiler. We need a help file for that library. In micro C compiler, press F1, go to index and type library and click on LCD library. When you scroll down a little bit, you will get the LCD library routines. The first function is LCD underscore initialize. To use the library for our purpose, we have to first declare these global variables and these global variables are related to the data pins of LCD and control pins of the LCD. Let's first declare the pins of LCD to the controller port. You have to define these all pins in the same way as I define and in the same way define all the other LCD pins direction to the tri-state resistor. You can see one example in the LCD library help how they define the LCD library pins to the port of microcontroller. The very first function of the LCD library is LCD underscore initialize and this will be the first function call in our program. If we are not using this function, the LCD library library will not get initialized and we can't use the LCD to display any character or data. So before using any other function of LCD in our program, we have to use this LCD initialize function. So next I want to discuss the LCD command functions. How many LCD commands are available in this library? And you can see a list of available LCD commands, LCD first row, second row, third row, fourth row, LCD clear, return home, cursor off and many other commands are available. Now this is the command to clear the display. So I am using a 16x2 LCD. We have 16 columns and 2 rows. To set the LCD cursor to first row and first column, use this command LCD underscore CMD then LCD return home. 
Next function I want to discuss is lcd underscore chr. This function is used to display a single character on a specific location on lcd. To use this function we have to provide the row location, column location and the character data which you want to display. So this is an ASCII table. If you want to display a you can see what is the hex code it is 0x41 so let's type 0x41 for lcd character function so in this simple way we can display a character a on lcd with row location 1 and column location 5 let's see what is the output of simulation the character a is displayed and a cursor is blinking after that so i don't want to display this cursor for that i have to apply a command to turn off the cursor to turn off the cursor use this command lcd underscore cm then LCD cursor off. You can see there is no cursor blinking after the character A. Now instead of using this hex value to display a character A, I can write the character A in between single quote. So it will be easy to understand that what we are displaying on the LCD. So to display a string of character, we have to use one another function which is LCD underscore out. The first parameter of this function is the row location. The second parameter of this function is the column location. And to write a complete string, use double quote and then type the characters which you want to display. Now you can see a complete string on row 2 and it is starting from column 2. Remember that the LCD will display only the ASCII value. You can't display the decimal or hex value in direct way. If you want to display 5, you can't write like this. It will not display a 5 on LCD. You can see there is no output of 5. For this, you have to write the 5 in single quotes so that it will be treated as a single ASCII character. Now you can see the output for 5 on the first row. So the remaining two functions are lcd underscore out underscore cp and lcd underscore chr underscore cp. So try these two functions. They will just display the data on current position. So the meaning of this cp is at current position. You can also play with the other available lcd commands. For just an example, I create an infinite loop and write these two instructions to turn the lcd off and on after 500 milliseconds. You can see the data is appearing and disappearing after a delay. So guys, it is very easy to interface a 16x2 or 20x4 LCD with a microcontroller if you are using the internal library of the micro C compiler. It will also save 4 pins of microcontroller because we will use the LCD in 4-bit mode. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.